These are the four new NFL stadiums set to redefine the American skyline between 2026 and 2030. One will feature the world's largest snow-melting roof, another will be sunk 40 meters into the ground to obey a century-old law. Thousands of tons of steel and acres of space-age plastics are being forged into structures that can withstand blizzards, reflect crushing heat, and even defy gravity. But as the costs spiral into the stratosphere, are these futuristic temples of sport brilliant investments or the most expensive gambles in history? New Highmark Stadium In Orchard Park, New York, engineers are not just building a stadium, they are building a fortress against the fury of winter. Opening in 2026, the new Highmark Stadium for the Buffalo Bills is a direct response to the region's brutal lake-effect snowstorms. The project's cost has already climbed past $2.1 billion, a staggering sum for an open-air venue. The central challenge was clear. How do you keep a stadium operational and fans comfortable when meters of snow can fall in a single day? The answer is a masterpiece of climate engineering. The stadium's most impressive feature is its 360-degree canopy, a sweeping structure that covers 65% of the 62,000 seats. But this is no ordinary roof. It is designed to be the world's largest snowmelt system. Think of it like the defroster on your car's windshield, but for a roof covering thousands of people. A network of pipes carrying heated fluid, automatically activated by weather sensors, turns the entire canopy into a giant heating element. It is designed to melt tons of snow before the weight can ever become a threat to the structure below. Holding this massive heated shield up is an incredible skeleton of steel, more than 22,000 individual pieces of steel weighing over 22,000 tons form the stadium's frame. The architecture itself is a weapon against the cold. The stands are stacked vertically, a design that not only brings fans closer to the action, but also creates a steeper, more intimidating wall of sound that traps noise and some warmth within the bowl. Below, the natural grass field will also be heated to keep the playing surface safe and green even in the deepest freeze, while radiant heaters will warm gathering spots throughout the concourses. This complex solution raises a critical question. Engineers could have simply built a dome, which would have been a more complete solution to the weather. The decision not to was a strategic one. By keeping the stadium open to the elements, the team preserves its famous home field advantage forcing opponents from warmer climates to play in the freezing cold and wind that the Bills are used to. This investment, however, comes with controversy. The project is receiving $850 million in public money from the state and county, which was a record-breaking taxpayer subsidy for an NFL stadium when it was first announced. While the team's owners are covering all cost overruns, which have already exceeded $560 million, the initial public cost is huge for a stadium that will host fewer than a dozen home games a year is nearly a billion dollars in public money a fair price to pay. Let me know what you think in the comments. But while Buffalo is engineering a solution to fight the cold, another city is facing the opposite problem, a battle against crushing heat. And their solution involves a material you have probably never heard of. The Urban Oasis, Stadium of the Future. Welcome to Jacksonville, Florida, where the enemy is not snow, but the relentless draining sun. Here, the Jacksonville Jaguars are undertaking a radical $1.4 billion project to transform their current home into the stadium of the future, set to be completed in August 2028. Instead of demolishing the old stadium and starting over, they are giving it a high-tech suit of armor. This approach is not only cheaper than a brand new build, but it is also far more sustainable, saving thousands of tons of concrete and steel from being produced and wasted. The centerpiece of this transformation is a stunning, first-of-its-kind transparent canopy. This is not the same plastic material used in other stadiums. It is a brand new composite polymer called Viewscape, a next-generation material making its world debut. You can think of it as a high-tech mirror shield. It allows natural light to pour in, but it is designed to reflect the sun's thermal energy, reducing heat retention inside the stadium by over 70%. For the fans sitting in the stands, this will lower the radiant heat by 5 to 8 degrees Celsius, a massive difference during a humid Florida afternoon. The engineering behind this is just as innovative as the material itself. 
the massive canopy is not being placed on top of the old stadium. Instead, engineers are building a completely new and independent skeleton of steel columns around the existing structure. This new frame will hold the entire weight of the canopy, meaning the old stadium bowl never has to bear the load. It is like building a giant futuristic umbrella over the stadium, one with a structure so advanced it is contoured to catch prevailing winds and funnel them through the bowl for passive, natural air conditioning. The project is being built in phases to minimize disruption. The team will play the 2026 season with a reduced capacity of around 43,500 before relocating for just one season in 2027, a plan designed to limit the project's cost and get the team back home as quickly as possible. The funding is a partnership, with the city of Jacksonville contributing $775 million and the team covering the remaining $625 million. But in Nashville, they are building a temple to the future from the ground up, with a roof that seems to defy the laws of physics. New Nissan Stadium Scheduled to open in 2027, the new Nissan Stadium is a colossal $2.2 billion project that will give the Tennessee Titans one of the most advanced homes in all of sports. At its heart is an engineering puzzle. How do you build a roof out of plastic and cables that bows upwards against gravity? The answer lies in its incredible roof. The stadium will be topped by a circular, translucent dome made of a material called ETFE. It is a space-age plastic, a fraction of the weight of glass, but with incredible strength and tear resistance. It lets sunlight pour in, making you feel like you are outdoors, while keeping you perfectly protected from the weather. But what makes this roof truly special is its shape. Instead of sagging in the middle like a normal dome, it is convex, rising about 9 meters at its center like a giant, transparent bubble. The secret is tension. The roof is a cable-stayed structure, a complex web of high-strength steel cables that crisscross the opening. Imagine a spider's web pulled perfectly tight from all sides. The network of steel cables is engineered so precisely that the downward force of gravity is perfectly balanced by tension, allowing the lightweight ETFE roof to float above the stadium. This lightweight design has huge benefits. It requires a much less massive and less expensive steel superstructure to support it compared to a traditional roof. Inside, the entire fan experience is being rethought. The seating bowl, with a capacity of around 60,000, is designed to be the most intimate in the league, with every seat 38% closer to the field than in the current stadium. There will be no nosebleed seats. The concourses will feature frictionless markets where you can grab food and drinks without ever waiting in line, and the number of restrooms will be nearly doubled. This vision of the future, however, comes at a historic cost to the public. The project is being funded with $1.26 billion in public money, the largest taxpayer subsidy for a stadium in United States history. It is a controversial deal that has sparked intense debate about how public funds should be used. Nashville's stadium reaches for the sky. But for our final project, engineers had to do the exact opposite. To build a new home for the commanders in Washington, D.C., they had to go down, digging one of the deepest stadium bowls ever built, New Commander Stadium. Set to open in 2030, the New Commander Stadium is the centerpiece of a staggering $3.7 billion mega project on the historic site of RFK Stadium. But engineers faced a unique problem, a legal barrier over a century old. How do you build a giant, modern, domed stadium in a city where it is illegal to build tall buildings? The answer comes from the 1910 Height of Buildings Act, a federal law that limits most buildings in Washington, D.C. to a height of about 40 meters to preserve views of the city's monuments. A modern stadium dome would easily violate this limit, so engineers devised an elegant solution. You do not build up, you dig down. The plan calls for a monumental excavation to sink the entire 65,000-seat stadium bowl into the earth. Every single seat will be located below the 40-meter legal height limit. This clever design exploits a legal loophole. The translucent ETFE dome that will cover the stadium is legally considered a roof, not part of the building's occupied height, so it is allowed to rise above the 40-meter line. It is a brilliant piece of engineering designed to solve a legal problem. But digging a massive hole so close to the Anacostia River creates immense hidden challenges. 
The area has a shallow water table, meaning engineers will be battling groundwater every step of the way. This will require an incredibly complex and expensive foundation and waterproofing system to keep the sunken stadium from flooding from below, a major reason for the stadium's enormous $2.7 billion price tag. This is not just a stadium, it is the heart of a brand new neighborhood. The plan includes building 6,000 new homes, hotels, restaurants, and shops on the 73-hectare campus. 30% of the site is dedicated to parks and green space, and the entire project is aiming for the highest possible LEED Green Building certification, making it a model for sustainable urban development. From a fortress against ice to a monument sunk into the earth, these stadiums are pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Four stadiums, four incredible solutions to four unique challenges. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more deep dives into the world's most incredible engineering projects, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.